talk to the pro you know, the pro day. For sure. Um, you know, I met Lloyd through a good mutual friend of ours, Ben Osborne from Slime Magazine, who uh, yeah. he was in this, in this film, both funded and um, getting press for the film. And um, you know, I also was able to, you know, this is my first film, and so in order to make this film, I had to meet a lot of talented filmmakers. And you know, I met Dan and Mark Levin, who helped me really get this film off the ground from the very beginning. So, a big round of applause for those guys. <laughs> And the other producer, Carl Holland, who was with me from the very beginning, and Giovanni Altran, who edited the film and did all the post production. <laughs> My wife, Anne Marie, who without this film. So, <laughs> so, getting down to the question, yeah, I mean, there were some really difficult questions in um, how much do you show in order to be respectful to a person. Um, but I think Lloyd is such a, a complicated interesting uh, a character with a tremendous amount of potential, but it's, you know, there's good and there's bad, you know? Like all of us, like I, I think we could all relate to both the good and bad things in the story. It's not just about him. But I think in order to tell the complete story of who he is and who he is as a person and to do, really do it justice, I think we had to show both sides of the story, both the good side and the dark side. So how long were you working together in the film? And so we started this film, uh, I think in the summer of 2012. Um, and we finished editing literally like a few weeks ago. Wow. Oh, congratulations. Fresh okay. out of the oven. Yeah, indeed. Yes. Wait, wait, this guy now? Uh, you know what it was? You just got to see what somebody's heart at. You know, Ben was a good guy. And, you know, sometimes, you know what? You need a little favor, but I just like to see where his heart was. And you know what I always tell my uncle? That's how you check people. You know, you see where they're at. You know, because guess what? It wouldn't be no film if I would have put him on, you know. So it wasn't that bad, though. You know, me and Ben is a good guy, real good guy. So it wasn't that bad. So you ain't getting that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and speaking to that, I mean, Lloyd really um, has a tremendous amount of faith and trust in us. Um, you know, as a first-time filmmaker to tell his story and to sell it, tell it honestly. So I really want to thank you for for trusting us to make this film about your life. Yeah. I think the first thing that attracted me to the story was he was such a phenomenal basketball player. He was a prodigy, and so it was, uh, it was a real interest in figuring out what made him like a prodigy or a savant, you know? Uh, because no one actually really got to see him play when he was maybe in his prime in high school. You know, it made him a legend. And then when he finally went to the NBA, it was almost like seeing, you know, uh, like Paul Bunyan who had had, you know, open heart surgery, you know what I mean? It was still, you can still see that there was. The, the beautiful talent there, but it was, you know, 60% of what it used to be. So I just thought it was a fascinating story. And then after we got to know Lloyd, after the, all the crew uh, met Lloyd and started filming with Lloyd, we realized this was really more of a film about who Lloyd is, about his life, and all the people who care about him, and, um, you know, how he interacts with those people, and still continues to keep in touch with all of these people. I mean, Lloyd has a tremendous network of friends. Um, you know, this film is really about love, I think, um, in the end. But also, I think this is a great film about the struggle with addiction, and that happens across, you know, all countries, all continents, you know, all races, and all economical structures. So, I think you, you know, something that is really transparent in the film is how hard you're trying, you know, and how difficult it is. And um, I think, you know, the film is really, it's really interesting because of that, because it's honest, and things are not just black and white, you know. And I think the film shows that very well. So, I think it's, it's made it a much better film. That it would just show, like, you know, like a good morning, you know. Yeah, um, you want to be honest about it. You exactly. know, you definitely really, if I'm going to do something, you want it to be honest. Because you can't be sugarcoated. And I, that's what I like about Ben. He did a real good job. Because if you're going to do something, do it right. You know, well, tell the truth. Because right here, I can save another kid's life. I can save a grown up life. But a lot of people out here struggling. You know, you ain't just got to be on drugs. You know, you got gambling problems, yeah. sex problems. You know, you got, it's hard out here, man. Every day I wake up, you know, it's a struggle. But you know what, though? Every day I wake up, though, I just look up at the sky and say, you know, just say, thank God I'm here. That's all you can do. You're so close to the sky, man. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I think, I think this, you know, this is the real deal. And, and I'm so thank glad you. you were both brave enough to show it. I'm always coming back to New York. I think the basketball changed. And I think the kids got a lot more spoiler. They more spoiler than me. You know, you got YouTube. 
You know, it's yeah. AAU, AAU basketball is really crazy right now. See, they're not teaching the kids to stay in school and get education. You got these coaches out here telling kids to step back. And that's wrong. That's real wrong. A good friend of mine, Ricky Rivers, here, I forgot to say his name, me and him, I went on this radio show and me and him talked about it. You know, you got all these AAU coaches telling these kids they should be going to ninth grade, go back to the seventh grade. And I think that's really wrong. And that's why when I coach kids, hey, if you ain't got an 80 on your test, you're not playing. You're not playing. You, you, that's not right, man. Because it's hard out there when you walk out them doors. Every day is a struggle. You know, even some working people in here. You know, you don't just have to be on drugs, man. There's a lot of people in here got more problems than me, man. <laughs> Trust me, man. I know. <laughs>